Hello and welcome back to Visit Val Coast. Hello folks. I'll Four of us. I'll tell you about that in a minute. We're in Poulton. We're in Poulton. We've come to look at the crocuses and to do our Friday shopping. They're beautiful. They are. They're lovely, aren't they? And the sun, sunshine. The sun's shining. We're just hoping it's going to stop out for long enough to be able to show you all the crocuses as well. This is St Chad's Church in the background and it's absolutely gorgeous. Come and have a look. Come on, out the way, two Come point. On. Out the way, out the way, out the way. So this is this is the beautiful spectacle of St Chad's Church in Poulton. And these are the beautiful crocuses and I think we're a little bit early. They look like they're not quite, not quite at the best. Um, but they are... They are certainly coming into full bloom. They are certainly coming into full bloom. And there's thousands of them. Just look at them, aren't they? Just, aren't they just gorgeous? Aren't they just lovely? We've got all shades of purple, yellow, white, flushed with different colours. Yellow. Lots of them every colour you can think of and they look just so pretty and everybody that's coming through the churchyard is stopping to take a photograph see my first bee here. you've seen a bee you've seen a bee oh yeah yeah oh look Liz it's a bumbly bee it's a big fat bumbly bee oh goodness me it's got some pollen as well look at that it's absolutely covered because of course when, when bumblebees bees and honeybees and things come out of their winter stupor I think that's called early bird catches the worm isn't it? Absolutely, when they come out of the winter stupor they need some they need some food so that's why it's important not to clean your weeds and your dandelions away because the early bees eat, eat all the, well collect all the pollen not eat it so this is lovely St Chad's Church this is, this is our resident snapper T-Boy's in his element. T-Boy's busy. T-Boy's going click, 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 click. Click, click, click. Show them the boat up there. Oh, and, yes. And my lemon cake. My lemon oh, cake. Oh, that's my glasses gone for a bit. Look the back of my head. Get yeah. light off that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And it's a really lovely church inside as well. And did you know that Poulton was the original metropolis of the Fylde? It was the market town, the trading town, where everybody brought all their wares to sell in the market square. And we'll turn around in a second to show you where the market square is. Lovely. I don't think there's quite as many as there used to be. I think if you go over there, if you've got. Yeah, the there's energy, a lot down there in Winterdale. So this is the market square, and this is where back in the day all the merchants came to trade their wares and most of most of the imported stuff that came in through the little port of Skipple and that's another story for another day Skipple's fascinating and this is still market market land on a Monday this is market land on a Monday when the um, street market is in town it's a lovely town and this is the teen law centre this is an indoor shopping shopping centre it's not very big there's a supermarket at the other end of booths the booths supermarket but there's quite a few shops in it and of course this is the pork shop i think we might be paying a call to the pork shop before we finished when we used to come when we used to come day tripping here we used to, Chrissy and I used to go and get uh, an ice cream and we used to sit on these benches on the side of the church and, and enjoy the, enjoy the sunshine. Well, in this town centre, yes. you know those pots? These. Yes. Now look at the base. Yes. And look how often and how big that was at one time. Oh, I know. They all, I can remember when they were massive. Chopped they, it off and you've ended up with another. I know. Tree. That's what I kept telling you. No, it's just because yeah. we're planning on doing that in Cleveland, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, something like that. While we're here, I'll just show you inside the church. It's a lovely church. It's really nice. I asked 
just wonder if I could take photographs. Beautiful. Look at the building. So there's a gravestone around here. You might have seen a, a video that I did. I think it's a couple of years ago, actually. And these are all these are all the old gravestones, which I'm I'm the wrong way around, don't I? The the, the other way. So if I turn around, here lieth the body of Jeanette, daughter of Thomas and Elizabeth Threlfall of Poulton, who departed this life on the sixth of July, seventeen forty-three. In the tenth month of her age. They died young back then, they did. Also Elizabeth, wife of the said Thomas Jolfall, who departed this life the 24th of February 1771. Goodness me. They're old, aren't they? So the said pirate's grave is around this corner. That's a lovely bench. Oh, nice. Charles Green's got a beautiful bench. It's lovely that. It's nice, isn't it? Oh goodness me, and it was 99. 1921 to 2020. Now, good airing, Paul. Look at that, Kevin. Just look at that. That beautiful. But look how dense this is on this side. I know that they are they are thicker than deeper. Now this is what uh, Nora was talking about this morning. The, the little cafe is on, yeah. um, the, I think it's called, is it called Chapel Walk? I think, yeah. I oh, think there's another bee there. Another great big bee. I'm not going, I'm not going to find it because it's, can you see it? Can you see it flying? Oh, I'm in a bit of bench envy, have you oh, seen this goodness one? Oh, goodness me, there's loads of them. There's loads of them, they've probably told one another where to come. I'm just going looking for pirates. Pirate, or... Yeah, Kevin wants to show you his cake. We've just had a laugh in the bakery. It's a lovely bakery in the little teen loft. Do you think center. that'll go three ways? <laughs> We're on the diet. So, so we've bought some flapjack to have after tea. And we've bought one lonely little cupcake. So we'll have to cut them little and we're gonna share it between lemony things. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll have a lottery. We'll cut them in half. So that's like half each. And then we'll have a, a Flick a coin for well, you're the one. greedy one. You can have. That's very generous of you. You can have more. I'll be more fun. You can have more. Hmm? So I'm going to show. I'm looking for pirate graves. I'm going to show you where it is. Was well, that, that cake for me? No. No, we're sharing it. Oh, we're sharing it. And I only know where to look because somebody told me. <laughs> so apparently, this is it. This is it here, and it's got a skull. Yeah, there's a skull there that you can see, oh, yeah. and it used to have crossbones, but I think they've worn away a bit. I don't know whether you can. Trust the there, look. Yeah, I think actually you can make it out a bit clearer on the camera than you can on there and there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, and I can't remember what they said, but I think the. I think the supposition was that it was probably a trader and it was something to do with boats and things. Yes. But it's known as the pirate grave. Is that not just lovely? Is that not just gorgeous? In fact, I'll tell you what, we'll take a walk down here and we'll take some photos and we'll go and have a look at the, at the crocuses. It makes you feel like spring's coming, it does. It makes you feel like spring's coming. Here's another one. Hey, 1750. Aged 46 years. 46 years. Goodness me. They died. Died young in those days, didn't they? They did. The ones right in front of the church look like they've 
thinned out a bit, whereas these look like they've duplicated. Gorgeous, aren't they? Breath of spring. So everybody in the local area comes taking photos and looking at them because there's just so many and they're just so pretty. I looked at mine in my garden and I thought, I've not, I've not got anywhere near like this many. I've got a few. <laughs> and I thought, hmm, crocuses, we must go to Poulton. We must go to Poulton. So looking at them, I mean, there's quite a few that are still thinking about coming out. Like these, look, they're not, they're not in full flower, but there's quite a lot that are already already in a good flush so looking at them I reckon you've got another week or so before they start to go over this is the thatched house this is Poulton's Poulton's watering hole oh isn't that lovely and shining over there's no uh, crocuses there's another bee here look I'll tell you something it's feeding the bees you see it in this white one I can't I can't show it you close up because there's a wall between me and it I'm sure you can see him now buzzing about oh this one looks familiar in the orange coat unless a spotted photographer <laughs> I'll take you for a walk around the corner. I'm going round this corner, T-boy. I'm going round this corner. Might as well show you the next bit of Poulton while we're here. So there's a ring road round the perimeter of it, which is, which is this one. And this brings you back up. So I think this is Brett Road. And this brings you back up to the middle of the town centre. Poulton's very popular in the evening for um, partaking of a partaking of a wine and a an nail. It's got quite a good quite a good night life as Poulton. Chapel Street. This is Chapel Street. Vicarage Road. Railway station that way. That's Brett Road. I wasn't far off, I wasn't far off. And this is Ball Street. Even more lovely flowers here, look. And these are done by the, the Poulton in Bloomers. So they look after the town and keep it looking pretty and lovely. This is the, this is the thatched, the thatched house, Poulton's. Poulton's favourite watering hole. There's quite a few watering holes in Poulton. Some nice gift shops, some nice bushes, some peacocks, big chemists. There's an Aldi just at the back of these shops. So there's a uh, bit of everything. A bit of everything. Some more Poulton in bloom plant pots. And that's your little walking tour of Poulton for today. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that as much yeah. as I'm going to enjoy my lemon, third of a lemon drizzle muffin. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.